So as you reach the arms up and over the head, let the arms just hang. Let them just become loose again. Tuck the chin in. Let this keep the legs just kind of uh, floppy here. And just settle into the floor for a moment. So you can bring the feet somewhat together into stick pose. Take an inhale and as you exhale, draw your right knee into the chest and hug it in. So feeling the low back stretching down, pressing down into the earth. Maybe that middle back is starting to release into the floor. Now we're going to activate the core. So you're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, pull the belly in and very gently tuck the chin in, nose up towards your knee. Now pause here for a second. And if you like, you can reach the arms out, making the abdominals a little bit stronger. Take another full breath. Bring your hands back to your shin and release your head and neck down and just pause here. And just one more breath. Noticing the hip, any sensations. You're going to reach the arms overhead, come back to our stick pose. So point the toes this time, pull that navel in and feel like the lengthening of the upper back through the armpits, the elbows and the wrist. Take another full breath and let's hug the opposite knee in and just hold, releasing again that low back into the floor. And just noting what what places in your back body are really relaxing into the mat. If there's any places in your back that feel like they're slightly lifted, take another full breath, pull that navel into the spine, tuck the chin in, nose towards your knee, holding. Now if you like, reach the arms out, either side of your leg, keep the belly pulled in, maybe lifting a little more. Take another full breath, Bring your hands back to your shin. Release your head and neck down. Beautiful. So we're going to hug both knees into the chest. And flex your feet. And point your toes away. Good flex. And point. Good flex. And point. Just a couple more. Flex. And point. Good, flex, and point. Beautiful, bring your feet down to the mat and grab your strap. Take your strap around the right foot and kick the right leg out towards the ceiling. Flex that foot and get this amazing stretch here through the back of the calf, the hamstring, maybe all, all the way down to your hip. Just taking two more breaths. Now we're going to move into a leg swing, which is a really nice way to warm up the back of the leg. So we're going to let go of our strap as you let the, the heels tap down. You walk your hands back up and hold the stretch. So let go of the strap, tap. Walk your hands up and stretch. And think of your powerhouse, your abdominals, doing the work here. Good, here's three. Good, two. And just one more. And pause. Pausing here. Now we're going to send your left leg across the mat and grab your strap with that left hand. Let's roll up and over into a gentle twist. Remember, we're still warming up, so you don't really need to go that far. You don't, your foot does not need to touch the floor. All, we're, all we really want is to really stretch the hip and maybe some IT band. Uh, that would be great. 
So just take it easy. We'll turn that away from that extended leg. And then move into those full deep breaths. Good. One more cleansing breath. Then go ahead and roll onto your back. Come into your upside down four. Take the strap, but keep it close by. As we roll that knee up, and hold on to this stretch. And again, it's all about connecting to the body and being aware of whatever sensations you're feeling. So make your modifications. Maybe that foot's going to stay down on the floor, which is okay. And possibly just a little push into the inner thigh. Now we'll take a couple more breaths. Good, then release your foot back down to the mat. We're going to do some abdominal work. So taking your hands behind your head, we're going to do a cross curl. So we can keep the knee lifting up if you'd like, or the foot down on the floor. I'll let you decide. You're gonna cross curl for eight and seven. Good, six. And five. Good. Four. And three. Here's two. And last one. Nice job. Release your feet down to the mat. Let's take the opposite knee into your chest. And taking your strap. If you have a loop in your strap, you can always take that around the foot, kick that leg up. Good, and walking the hands up very gently, stretching the back of the leg, the calf and the hamstring. At the same time, we're pressing the heel up. We're just releasing the low back down. Engage into your quadricep. And then you want to keep your, your abs just sort of engaged, just enough to support the lift of this leg. And especially when we get into our leg swing. So let's do that. Drop the heel down and tap. And walk the hands up and stretch. Oh, that's a nice stretch there. So you take a little pause at the top there. Good, here's four, three, good, two, and here's our last one, you're gonna pause, let's hold. Now we can, we can keep this foot on the mat, especially if your back is feeling tight. Keep the foot on the mat and bring the leg across. So you'll just come into a straight, um, diagonal stretch here. Otherwise, we straighten out the, the right leg, grab the strap with the right hand, and roll up and over into our twist, reaching the opposite arm across the floor. Good, two more breaths. Very good, one more cleansing breath. And as you exhale out, we'll roll onto our back, bend the knee and come into our upside down four. Remember, use the variation of this pose, the one that works the best for you. We're gonna hold onto that hamstring, maybe flexing that left foot. And then note what you're feeling, what, what kind of um, 
sensations you're feeling. So we never want to feel pain. That's definitely not what we want to do. If you're feeling pain, then just please get out of the pose. So we, we want a mild stretch here. And as we hold it and as we breathe, we should feel that muscle start to relax and, and let go. So just two more breaths. And release the foot down. Now we'll get this abdominal work. We're going to come into a cross curl. So you're going to take your hands behind your head. Keep the neck long. Take an inhale. As you exhale, rotate for eight and seven. Here, six and five. Good, four and three. Here's two. And last one, very good. Release your foot down to the mat. Bring the arms along the sides of your hip. Tuck those shoulder blades under and walk your fingertips towards your heels. So just as you glance down, you want the knees in line with the hip bones and the feet in line with the knees. We'll take our bridge to just create this uh, really nice stretch in the spine. So we inhale and as you exhale, we pull that navel in. We press into the mat with our feet as you lift your hips up, keeping the chin tucked into the chest. We'll keep it real simple. Take an inhale and as you exhale, start to slowly roll down. And just making note of how that back is feeling. Are there any tight or sticky spots? And then release. Good. Deep inhale. Exhale. Draw the belly in. Good. Lift your hips up. And really engage into the quads and possibly a little bit of the glutes. Take an inhale. Exhale. Start to articulate down through the shoulder blades. Rolling through the back of the rib cage, through the mid back, and all the way down through the spine. Very nice. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, draw the belly in. Start to lift up through the hips and hold. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, let's take our time. Going bone on bone, just separating, creating space in our spine. Very good, and relax. Now we're gonna come into that upside down fork. So we'll do a single leg bridge. You're gonna take your right ankle above the left knee. All right, and we wanna keep the um, pelvic bowl, the hips even. So we're gonna take an inhale. As you exhale, draw the belly in. Press down into the left foot. We're not going to come up that high, but see if you can release that knee slightly down. Take a deep inhale. Exhale and slowly. Take your time. It's going to be a little bit harder. And now release. Good. Let's take that foot down. Let's try the other side. So take the left ankle above the right knee. You're upside down forward. Now you have a little uh, natural arch in the back. You inhale, and as you exhale, you pull that belly in. Press down into the foot, lift your hips up, chin is to the chest. Take a nice deep inhale. Start to relax that knee slightly down. As you exhale, roll through the back, upper back, your mid back, and now your low back. Very good. Hug the knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side, hip to hip. And we'll go ahead and roll all the way to our side. Use your hands to push up. Let's bring our knees together. Come into child's pose. Good, one more full breath. And now we're gonna slowly come back up. 
Flex your feet coming into our cat cow and down dog. So we're gonna take an inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna round the back into our cat stretch. Inhale, roll through the spine, lifting the sternum and the tail into your cow. Holding cow position, push your hips back and the hips go straight up into our downward facing dog. So move on to your toes, bend your knees, slowly come back to your table position. Take an inhale. Exhale, round the back to the cat. Inhale, roll through the spine, lifting the tail, the chest to cow. Holding the cow position, pushing your hips back to, to your heels and lifting the hips straight up to the sky. Press the heels down towards the floor. Don't worry if they don't make it, it's okay. Now we're gonna come all the way up to our toes Bend your knees and slowly come down to a table position. Last time, take an inhale. Exhale, rounding the back to cat stretch. Inhale, roll through the spine to your cow. Hold cow with a big deep breath. As you exhale, push the hips back and now come all the way up into our down dog. And you'll take another deep breath in. And we're going to send that right leg up towards the sky. Now we're gonna move into a plank position. You're gonna draw your right knee, I'm sorry, to, it's your left knee to your left elbow. Kick the leg up. Let's do that again. Knee to elbow. And now kick up. One more time. Bring your knee to the elbow and kick up. Good, bring that foot down. Let's do the other side. So opposite leg comes up and then you move into a plank, shoulders over wrist, elbow to knee and kick up. Good, plank position, elbow to knee and kick up. Good job, one more time. Elbow to knee and now kick up. Bring that foot down and walk your hands, bend your knees, but walk your hands and your feet together into a forward fold. Good, just take a full breath in, slow exhale out. And one more inhalation. As you exhale, let's come into a half lift. So pull the belly in, bring the arms out like an airplane circle up, bring your hands together, and to your heart center. Good, standing in mountain pose. Let's get rid of our props. Move them off to the side. Good, as you come into mountain pose, let's um, follow our form. So grounding the feet to the earth, take those shoulders and roll them back. Hands next to your thighs. Lift up through the crown of your head, but the chin should always go a little bit back. Rotate the palms out. And just spreading through the toes, just feeling the earth underneath your feet. Now we're gonna come into a swaying palm. So you're gonna take both arms up towards your ears. Now you're going to release your left hand down to your thigh and now slide that arm up and over. Take a nice deep breath in, rotate that palm back up, arms are into mountain salute, and then we release the left arm, arm down. I'm sorry, right arm, I'm so mixed up. I'm mixing you up, right? Left arm reaching. We can try it again. Inhale, reach both arms up. Let's take that left arm down to your side and go ahead and slide that hand down as you reach up and over. See if we can get a more of a stretch. Take another full breath, release that right hand down. Good, bring both arms up. <laughs> oh, release that right arm and let's take that left arm and reach it up and over. Good, 
So now take both arms back up towards the ceiling, balancing. You're going to roll onto your toes. Good. And now as you come down, you're going to swing your arms back. All right? And the arms come up over the hips. So your arms are over the hips, so you're coming into swimmer pose. Hold this, you know, squat, but reach the arms up towards your ears into chair pose. Take an inhale as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a half lift. Pull that navel into the spine and reach your arms out like wings. Circle the arms up. Good. So you're going to take a deep breath in. As you exhale, roll onto your toes, balancing. Then swing your arms back, chair pose. But arms are out to the side, you're coming into a nice deep squat. Take a full breath in. As you exhale out, reach your arms next to your ears. Take an inhale as you exhale, forward fold, Uta Asana. Inhale to a half lift. Pull that navel in. Arms like an airplane circle up. Last time, arms next to your ears. Rolling up onto your toes. Take an inhale as you exhale. Swing the arms back. Swimmer pose. And now reach the arms next to your ears. Chair pose. Take another full breath. Forward fold. Uta Asana. Inhale to a half lift. Draw the arms out like wings. Circle up. Let's go ahead and press the hands together over the head and bringing your hands to your heart center. Good. So we're going to walk out into a nice big horse stance. So we're going to come into our prayer squat, sinking down into your hips. Take a few breaths. You're going to inhale, circle the arms up, press your hands together. Exhale and come into prayer squat. Good. Inhale, circle the arms up, press your hands together, and drop into that prayer squat. A couple more times. Inhale, circle the arms up, press your hands together, and draw your hands down to the heart. And last time, inhale, circle your arms up, press your hands together, and bring your hands to namaste. So hands onto the thighs and you're going to take the right arm and reach it over back to your thigh. Reach the left arm up and over. Good. Inhale, circle the arms up. Come back into your squat. Reach that right arm over. Come back to the center. Now left arm up and over. Come back to the center. Inhale, circle the arms up and bring your hands down to your thighs. Last time, right arm coming up, hand to the thigh. Left arm coming up, good, come back to the center. Inhale, circle the arms up, good, bring your hands to your heart. Now we're going to bring the hands out. So namaste hands reaching towards the screen. And let's come into warrior two, bending the knee. Good, lifting up through the chest and the crown of your head. Take a nice deep breath and as you exhale out, sink a, just a bit more into your legs. Now moving into triangle pose, straighten out that front leg, reaching out across and bring the hand down towards your shin and bring this shoulder slightly back as you open up the heart, the chest, the lungs. Very good. Take another full breath. Let's bring ourselves back up into warrior two. And now move into extended side angle pose, reaching the arm over the side of the face. Now, if you like, you can release that hand towards the floor. Good. 
Good, take another full breath. And now push back up into our warrior two. Now circle the arms up, straighten out that front leg. Now exhale, sink down into your, your hips. Good, two more times. Inhale, reach the arm up. Exhale, bend your knee and sink into the legs. And last time, inhale, reach the arm up. Good, exhale and sink into your hips. Now bring your hands to your heart. Pick that right foot up and pivot around. So coming into a straddled forward fold, inhale, circle the arms up. As you exhale, you're going to swan dive into the forward fold. Get your fingertips underneath your shoulders. And let's take the left hand, plant it right between your feet and reach the right arm up towards the sky. Good, one more full breath. Very nice, and then bringing the right hand, plant it right between the legs, the feet, to the center, and now reaching that left arm up. Very good, one more full breath. Then releasing your hand down, let's bring your hands to the hip crease, Lift with the heart and the head and come all the way up. Good, you can readjust your stance, but pick up your left foot and pivot it out. Bend the knee and move into warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So soften through the shoulders, dropping them away from the ears. Reach out and make your arms strong. Take your gaze out to your fingertips. Take a couple full deep breaths. And just noticing how you feel that the strength of your body holding this pose. Another inhale. As you exhale, draw this thigh back. Let's go ahead and reach forward as you bring the hand towards the shin. Some of you may come down to the floor. And come into your yoga breathing, allowing yourself to take a moment to check in. Very good. Coming back into Virabhadrasana 2, sink into your legs. Good work. Take another full breath and now moving into extended side angle pose, reaching the arm up and over the side of the face. Now again, if some of you wish, you might bring the fingertips towards the floor. Very good. One more full breath. And now we're going to come back into our warrior two. Now we're going to straighten that front leg and reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the knee and sink. Beautiful. Rotate the palms up, bring the hands together, and now exhale, sink into your legs. And one more time, take an inhale, rotate the palms up, reach the arms up and over. And now exhale, sinking into the legs. Beautiful. So bringing the hands back to the heart center, let's pivot that foot forward and readjust our stance. I'm going to have you go ahead and turn your feet out. And so what we're going to do is we're going to gather our air, right? We're going to gather air. And it looks a, uh, a lot like Tai Chi, as, as if I do any, I don't. But this is a beautiful sort of moving with breath. So we're going to bend the knees. We're going to inhale, circle the arms up, touch the fingertips together. As you exhale, press the air out of the body. Inhale, deep breath in, fingertips together. Exhale, push the air out. Good, inhale, reach the arms up. 
fingertips together exhale push the air out of the body and one more time inhale reach up fingertips together and exhale push the air out now taking the hands rotating the palms you're going to take <laughs> you're going to draw the arms out inhaling as you exhale pull the elbows in good push the hands pushing the air away inhale drawing the air back exhale push and away inhale drawing the air in two more times exhale pushing the air away inhale drawing in and last time exhale push the air away inhale drawing it in very good so let's go ahead and come all the way up we're going to toe heel our feet together good so coming down to the mat We're going to come into bound angle pose and we're going to add some um, goddess arms. Uh, good. So bringing your feet down to the mat, hold onto the back of the legs and roll all the way down. So in bound angle pose, if you have blocks, you're welcome to put them underneath the outer thighs. So we're going to take the arms. So they look like gold posts or cactus arms. Tuck the chin in. And come into a few rounds of breath to slow down the heart. And soften through the inner thighs and the pelvis. And start to soften through the low back and the shoulder blades. I'm taking about three more breaths. Let's take our hands on the outside of your thighs, draw your knees up and walk your feet out to the edge of the mat. Bring your arms into a T. Let's come into some windshield wipers. So moving side to side. And you're welcome to keep your gold post arms if you wish, or T or T arms. <laughs> just the main thing is just let the arms relax as we move, just rolling through the back and the hips. And so we're going to do one more. And then wherever you land, just land there, taking the foot on the outside of that outer thigh. Taking three more breaths. Very good, slide that foot off. Now let's drop our knees to the opposite side, taking the foot, opposite foot, on the outside of your thigh, stretching through the hip, and moving into the, out of the mind and into the body with your breath. Good, take another cleansing breath. And now you're gonna slide that foot off. Now we're gonna come into what they call conscious rest. You're going to drop your knees together while your feet are wider than your hips. But we're gonna come into a, um, a mutra that is to help um, 
relax the mind or quiet the mind. So you bring your hands to prayer position. Um, I like to spread the fingers and then the thumbs are touching. So you take your thumbs to the third eye. So you just place it right between your eyebrows. And as you do that, it's, a, it's like a pressure point too. You're gonna lift the elbows up. So the elbows come up and the hands kind of, the index finger may go over the crown of the head. And so we keep the hands pressing here. Relax that low back into the floor. And move into an easy breath, maybe an ujjayi breath, an airy whispering sound. Just doing that a couple more times. Let's go ahead and come back to bring your hands to prayer and bow your chin. The light in me salutes that light and that divine that is in you. And together we say, Namaste.